How did you like it? Dad. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. Daddy said. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Sounds good, daughter. this every single time I put on new fresh sheets. I think my brain has wobbled inside of my head. <laughs> That's what I get for fresh new sheets. Hi everyone, welcome to today's vlog. So today's vlog, you guys really liked the vlog where I called my fiance Opa for 24 hours. Honestly, that was probably one of the hardest vlogs that I ever had to do. Harder than making a cardboard box, harder than teaching my dogs how to swim, like harder than any of those, all of those. And above, that was honestly the most difficult thing that I had to do in life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So today I decided to kind of spin off on that video because you guys requested in the comments for me to call him daddy for the next 24 hours. I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot more uncomfortable, especially because my mom is staying with us and I don't want her to hear me call her that because that is just something in my family relationship that I will never be able to recover from so I'm gonna have to be really really discreet and I also don't want him to think of it as a joke so I have to do it in a way that's really nuanced like the Opa thing I feel like it wasn't as cringy for him and it was more cringy for me because he knew I was f***ing around this time I'm just gonna be like casually like what's poppin daddy what you doing daddy wow I really hate the fact that it just like rolls off my tongue like that so <laughs> As you guys can see, I've just changed my sheets on this bed. Honey, how would you rate this bed? 10 out of 10? Would you rate it 10 out of 10? How would you rate the activity that happens on this bed? 10 out of 10? I'm talking about sleeping, you nasty. Now, let me tell you about the other things that we do on this bed, okay? I just want to say that I am not ready to be a parent. Isn't that right, daddy? <laughs> Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes. Are you ready to be a daddy, Daddy? No. Anyway, so Daddy and I... <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Simple Health. If you guys don't know, I am so busy being a parent to this little boy right here that I am not ready to have kids of my own. I am just not there in my point in life. And I also am not ready to constantly go to the pharmacy every single month to get my birth control. Which, by the way, there's a global pandemic going on and it just doesn't seem like the smartest, most efficient way to take control over my future and my body and I love simple health because they make it super convenient affordable and confidential to get your birth control all via the internet so you lay on your bed use my link in the description because it will actually get you guys a free consultation and fill out your health profile now from there there's gonna be licensed OBGYNs and physicians who are gonna take a look at that health profile and they're gonna be like oh according to this bit's lifestyle I think that we need to prescribe her a B C or a D because they have over a hundred different brands of the pill the patch and the ring so you have a lot of choices now here's the best part this is all done in the comfort of your home you never have to go outside put on that mask go to your doctor get this prescription and then after they prescribe it to you they will ship it to you with free shipping so you literally don't have to go to the pharmacy you never have to leave your house for this it's amazing and if you get <laughs> If you guys are like, listen, I live with my dad, or maybe you live with your significant other, aka your daddy, or you live with your friends or your parents, then don't worry because all of it is shipped in confidential packaging. So absolutely nobody is gonna know that you guys are on birth control, which like doesn't matter, but just in case. And the best part of this is I know it sounds like a luxury service. It sounds like something that only lots of like, you know, the Jeff Bezos of the world can afford at times of a global pandemic, but it's actually not. So Simple Health actually wants to make it easy for you guys to take control over your own body. So if you guys have health insurance, Simple Health accepts most health insurances, making this process completely free to most of you guys. And if you don't have health insurance, don't worry because it starts at $15 a month. That is super affordable. Make sure to check the link in my description to get that free consultation so that your dad... D. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> Do you approve this message, You're Daddy? Me very uncomfortable. Your mom's like right on set. I can do it, I can do it, but I'm only daddy. So my fiance is right here and I have a really large request for you. And this is coming from me and the satellite. <laughs> oh, can I give you guys a mango update? I have not given you guys a mango update in so long. So we've actually took down her steroids, which are her prednisones, which cause her to muscle atrophy and all of that stuff. And that's for her autoimmune disease. And so we cut down on it and they expected her skin condition to get better because they associated her skin condition with something called calcium my something like they said that, that she exerts too much calcium which then causes her skin like her hair to fall out and then the skin wounds to pop up and they look like they just look really bloody it, it makes me cry every time and then earlier today she was sitting on one of our bath mats and then she got up and just a chunk of hair was left and I was like no 
Oh. And that's attached to skin. <laughs> and I was crying all morning. So she, her skin condition was supposed to get better as we lowered the steroids because the skin condition they thought it happened because of her overusage of steroids, which she had to have because she has an autoimmune disease. So as you can see, this was a very tricky balance. So we lowered her steroids, but then her skin got worse. So we're taking her back to the dermatologist. We've been going like every other week or it was every month and then now it's every two weeks or something like that. So that's an update on Mango. I try not to show her in the vlogs because for some reason there's always that one person who has no idea what's going on with Mango and either likes to leave a very mean comment about the way that she looks or thinks that we're abusing her because she has scabs. Lots so, of scabs. Yeah, she has two on her face and then she's got a bunch on her neck, which is also really hard because she has to wear this cone and then she can't wear the soft cone because it covers too much of her neck and makes it a little bit hot, which then causes more scabs. So she has to wear this cone, but then she also has scabs on her neck, but there's literally nothing else we can do, the doctor said. And then she's got one on her like back up here and then another one forming here. She's got this one down here, the super bald spot that's now kind of healing. And then she's got a bunch more like forming randomly. It's really scary looking. Hi. Are you satellite? That's what's going on with Mango. Anyways, back to today's video. <laughs> We're gonna be making some ice cream. Will you help me make some ice cream? So I saw someone ice on TikTok cream. that put a bunch of Frappuccinos from Starbucks into an ice cream maker, and then they were like, it'll turn into ice cream, like for part two. And then, um. Does it really? I don't know, they haven't uploaded part two yet. Can you read this for me, Daddy? Did you hold it backwards? No! <laughs> There's both ways! Oh okay. my god, oh, this way is in Spanish! This way is in English! <gasps> So we're gonna learn how to make ice cream today. I was gonna make some kimchi ice cream, but today I decided to do the frappuccino ice cream that I saw on TikTok. I honestly am just not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just flipping through the pages. I'm not reading the manual at all. Can you read this? <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Sounds good, daughter. <laughs> Why would you say that? That's disgusting. What's wrong with you? Gross. Sorry, Daddy obviously doesn't <laughs> know how to use like lingo these days, like the slang. <laughs> Are you ready, Daddy? Yes, can you grab the thingy? Let's do it. Mummy. <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> Mummy, I want ice cream, Mummy. Oh my god, what is happening? Love you, Mummy. Okay, 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 I get what you're trying to do. I get what you're trying to do, Daddy, and it's working. Really, Mummy? <laughs> I'm just gonna like, start calling you Oma. Oma. <laughs> okay, can you help me make this ice cream? Sunny. Oma. I just feel so uncomfortable right now. Please mixing that. No, in frozen. Place lit on base and roll take off. No ingredient must be added to the freezer bowl after you need. You desire firmer consistency. Transfer the bowl to it. Two hours later. That's it. Easy. Ready? <laughs> I don't know what you said, I'm so sorry. What do you mean? It's easy. Put the bowl, put it on there, put stick it in, turn it on, bend it. Done. Okay. I decided to freeze the freezer bowl, right? I knew about this because I watched Jen and Julia's video. Jen and Julia's video where they did this and they forgot to stick it into the freezer bowl. So I stuck the freezer bowl into the freezer. I did it. But my dumbass was like, I'm gonna be really smart. I stuck ice inside the freezer bowl. Okay. Smart or not. I guess it just depends what you think. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I don't know what to do. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. Whoa! <gasps> Honey! Oh my god. Um, yesterday I ordered these Starbucks drinks because I thought that I was gonna do this yesterday, and then I realized the whole freezer bowl situation, and so I saved them in the refrigerator, <laughs> and that's why they look like this. This is my first time ordering this season's. Pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin on top. spice latte? Or frappuccino. Is Pump pumpkin spice already? Yeah, it's pumpkin spice already. It's pumpkin spice already. It's pumpkin it's spice. Ready. Oh my god, it smells like Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year and not 2020. Psych. Okay, no, 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 So he took, oh god, oh he took the ice it's out frozen and on. then he wiped it with the napkin and now the napkin oh my god. Oh my is god. sticking to the oh side. This thing is weird. Oh wow, but it comes right up with water. With hot water? Daddy, hurry. Mommy. <laughs> okay, stick it in there. Right there. Okay, so here's what we do. We fill it, right? No, no, no. This, you put this in there. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. And then you put this on top. 
Isn't that important? Yeah, I, I don't know. What is that we're making? This is pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice latte. Nice. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Look at that. Can I fill it all the way? I don't know. What if it overflows? I doubt it. That's pumpkin spice latte too? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's enough. enough. Okay, okay. So it says it could take up to 20 minutes. Wait, how do I know when it's done? To a good consistency that you like. I don't know what I like. I'm indecisive. Mommy? <laughs> Oma. Oh, honey. I see a lot of potential. You've got this daddy pose going on. This has been a long time coming. I <laughs> I have really cheapened out on these curtain hooks. So I've been using these little clip things from Amazon and I guess the curtains are a little bit too heavy for them because they always fall off completely like that. So the curtain on this side has just fallen off for the past couple days. My fiance is too lazy to put it on until I did something about these weak ass hooks. So I ordered these hooks, which are supposed to be a lot more stable and are supposed to just keep them pinned on. So I'm gonna ask daddy to come fix it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honey, can you come to the office for a second? I need you to help me fix something. What? What? The hooks are there. Wow, it's a lot of muscle you're showing, Daddy. Just opening up that box. Oh my! <laughs> Honey! Just opening up that box? Is that how you open Oh my, come pick me up, I'm scared. <laughs> Is that how you open safes? With all that money inside the safe? I don't know, we don't even know. Is that how you open jars of mayonnaise with those mm -hmm. muscles? Why did you start in English and finish in Mandarin? I got confused with English. <laughs> this is when I know we have a language barrier is when I'm counting something and I'm counting in English and he's counting in Mandarin. He does all of his math in Mandarin and then translates the answer to English. What did they know? You count faster in foreign language. What? Because it's one syllabus. E, R, S, S, O, L, T, B, A, J, O, S, E. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> you are six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you're at six, I'm already done. Okay, okay, ready, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How do I know you're not making shit up? Literally, that's how it sounds. You are six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You said E, R, S, S, O, L, T, B, A, J, O, S, E. Wait, what was the magic number? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Question that you had asked me. So he asked my mom and I a question, and we wanted to test how good the Korean slash the American education system is because everyone in China apparently knows the answer to this. No, a lot of people don't know either. Really? Okay, yeah. so everyone's an idiot globally, internationally, we're all idiots. So the question was, what is 0.5 times 0.8, right? Uh -huh. And my mom so confidently says, Four. And me, for some reason, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get smart with it and I'm gonna change them into percentages and then just multiply the percentages with the same common denominator or something like that. <laughs> I don't know why. I remember learning that they have to be the same con d d denominator. It's true. It is, it is right. So then I did, I did four over ten. Wait, no, what did I do? <laughs> I got one point three. <laughs> he said, what's point eight times point five? And I said, one point three. So answer it in the comments what you guys think that the answer is. And I'm going to announce it at the end. So that's what I got. And then my fiance laughed at both of us just for like 10 minutes straight and then made fun of the Korean education system and the no, American education not. system. I just made fun of you. <laughs> Don't put me onto that. I just laughed at you. I'm not saying that the American education system is bad, but we did watch a Chinese documentary on it and they were saying it's really, really bad because they put teachers who had lots of like, sometimes, not all the times, okay? You'll find teachers that had really negative performance, so like the kids don't really learn much from them and they're not really good with kids, be put into poor income areas, thus furthering the income gap and all of that stuff. Anyways, we watched a documentary on it. I don't really know too much. It was in Mandarin, so he was translating for me, but it was like completely heartbreaking. How did I get here? <laughs> oh yes, so I'm not saying that the American education system is bad, but they have flaws. And one of them is math. I think it's because, when did you guys start using calculators in China? Never. We started using calculators like in middle school. We had to buy one of those like T3 things and then you play Tetris on it the whole time instead. <laughs> I remember that. But leave it in the comments and we're gonna 
we're just gonna let daddy have his time putting up the curtain. <laughs> he needs to focus. <laughs> no, it looks really good. Kind of resembles like cream cheese, but I like it, daddy. Cream cheese? Like the what top, it's very curdly. <laughs> oh. So the ice cream noise, I hear it. It's been about 20 to 30 minutes. <gasps> what? I think it is ice cream. Oh, it's, it's not, not ice really. cream. It's a oh. frappuccino. Pull through today. Oh yeah. Definitely gonna have some sharks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Do you feel no. a little shardy? A little shoddy? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Shardy caught the fatty. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna um chuck this across our fence to our neighbor's house because it's disgusting and I don't want it anywhere near me. <laughs> you have to participate in this. I'm one. not gonna participate. This is him this walking one. around the kitchen. I don't think I wanna participate in this one. Nope. But you do because I have a plate full uh -oh. of big old oh, jalapenos. Oh, no, no, so no, no, I just no. showed him that TikTok. If you guys no, no, have been no. watching that TikTok, I'm so sorry that this entire video is like literally me talking about TikTok even though I'm not supposed to be. It's because um I just feel like these are things that I wanna try in real life. Just like I don't wanna just like make it a TikTok video, but I wanna actually try this. Oops. So because my dad likes things fast. <laughs> Are you getting used to it? I feel like he hasn't been flinching. He's like, yeah, what's my name? I'm just kidding. So, because Zara likes it spicy and I like Zara spicy, I got a bunch of oh big old jalapenos and I'm gonna stuff them with Takis. I saw a bunch of people do this and it looks really delicious. Oh my god, my Oma's actually out here. Oh my, love you. So we're gonna get a cutting board and I just want to show, I just want to show Zaddy what's gonna happen to him if he's not a good Zaddy. Okay, you just boom, bits. I'm gonna watch out, little bits. So first of all, did you know that jalapenos are spicy because of the seeds? I know that, yeah. I know some people are gonna get mad at me for this, but let me just explain. I've had some traumatizing experiences of touching other things after I've touched jalapenos before, so, and this is the process of like de-seeding them, which seems really intense. I'm gonna have to put these gloves on, okay? I'm a little whip. Would you say, honey? I mean, would you say the sun on you? Daddy said. Zaddy is multi-talented. He's a cameraman today. So we're cutting open this jalapeno. I feel like a doctor. You, you better get all the seeds out. Yeah. I think you're rubbing spiciness on there right now. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you not show them my focused face? Okay, we've got fuego and we've got nitro taki. What kind of flavor is that? Nitro taki? Mmm. Okay. Now we're going to try this one. Mmm. Mmm, this is so much better. So you get your jalapeno. Some people I saw even put sriracha because the jalapeno is not spicy enough. And That's you stick it. your takis in here like this when you close it up. Jalapeno taki. Mm-hmm, and then you just eat it like that. This is our dinner, so <laughs> please enjoy it. Which one you want? You want the bigger one, Sade? Let's try it. Mmm, I know it's so good though. So good? Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, oh my god. god, it's so good. I love this. It's so good. Oh my gosh. We need to do a mukbang on this, is so good. Wow, he's really zip throwing that one, Zara. What that mouth do, Zara? My throat is burning from that, but it was the juiciest, fattest daddy I've ever put in my mouth before. <laughs> How did you like it? Dad. <laughs> that's weird, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> I just wanted to like switch it up a little bit, that was just too weird. Did you like that jalapeno? Father. <laughs> I feel like his brain is breaking right now. His brain is literally breaking. Dad? Dad. Father? Yes. <laughs> Zaddy. How do you think yes. your dad feels about this? Your father. Juiciest, baddest daddy I've ever put in my mouth. Here's a quick question. Would you rather me call you daddy in public or like, sweetie munchkin pumpkin honey bun, sweetest <sighs> apple of my eye, pumpkin latte spicy, lover of my days? Which one would you like? The second one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
kill you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And make sure, unless you want your fiance to turn into a dad. Not a daddy, but a dad. Check out Simple Health, link to the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.